very soon after I started modeling, I started noticing at fashion shows like, oh, this girl, she's like eight years older than me and she, and the pants are looser on her and they're tighter on me. Oh. Or, you know, cause you obviously change backstage. Yeah. So you see other people's bodies and you're like, oh, she's skinnier than me. Oh, she's taller than me. Uh, oh, her legs are nicer than mine. And so you start picking and picking and picking apart your anatomy. Um, and the reality is the modeling industry is about your look. It's about your body. It is, it's yeah. not, I mean, just as much as like if you were a physicist, it's about your brain, yeah. right? They don't really care what you look like, or else in the industry, modeling industry, it doesn't matter about your brain. Yeah. It's about your, your assets. My value was derived from something else. It's not so extreme, it's not so one-sided yeah. yeah, and when your value is derived from something else, you start feeling, um, you know, you start investing in those other areas and not, I didn't, it wasn't about being the skinniest girl on set. It's nice to like get fit and get strong and to feel it. And with that, my eating habits and my diet changed. My, my guilt when I ate foods dropped. I didn't, I could eat stuff and actually, I could eat, I could have my sort of like pig out days or whatever yeah. it was, my, my cheat days and not feel, not feel bad guilty. And guilty about yeah. things. And, and I, my body like responded well, like I still burnt it, I still felt good, I still worked out. So, and then my energy levels increased. So it was a really nice, it just fed off each other. Our bodies were actually built. Um, we have such complicated machines, yeah, you know, these do. bodies, and so they're <laughs> built to heal themselves.